What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here. And we're back because we are going to become artists. Yes, that is right. We're going to get into some painting because the new update added pixel painting for the console. So that means we can paint on canvases now, which is really, really nice. We can paint our dinos different weird colors. As you can see here, I've done some testing. You can see that spot right there is bluer than the rest of him. That's just messing around. But we'll get to that later. The first thing you are going to need is a cooking pot or an industrial cooker. Now, I will advise you mortals to get the industrial cooker and link it up to a water supply. So you have continuous water. Because with a cooking pot, I'm pretty sure I've got one over here. You will have to keep adding canteens of water. And it will take forever to get any of the dyes you need. But you can do it. It's just going to take a long time to get every single dye. And that is what you're going to want. You're going to want a lot of lot of all the dyes to be able to do some painting. And as you can see right here, I have already done some painting. The pictures don't turn out really, really good. Unfortunately, that is supposed to be the hall, which is here. This hall right here, I took a picture of it. And that's what it turned out like. It's super dark and it's not very clear what's on there. It's all pixely. That's why I'm guessing why they call it pixel painting. <laughs> but once you've got your industrial cooker or your cooking pot, whatever, you're going to need a lot of the berries. You're going to need all of them, basically, apart from major berries. You're going to need a lot of them, so whack them in. Just be careful that the cooking pot only has 48 slots of storage. So you're going to need the berries. You're going to need charcoal. You're going to need spark powder and you're going to need gunpowder. Put all them in as well so you can make every die possible. If you build if you're doing it in the industrial cooker, you need gasoline obviously to light it. Fiber you do not need and as far as I know, major berries do not make any kind of colour. Uh, I may be wrong, but as far as I put Medro berries in here and the Medro berries were not going down. As you can tell, I've already got an absolute ton of dyes i'm just gonna whack all this gunpowder in here and the spark powder i've already got a ton of dyes made up which is really really cool so you're gonna need like most of the dyes i don't think i don't know if this is all of them i just put all the berries in then turned it on with all the stuff in and it made a load of dyes so if you want to do this kind of painting here, you have to have the camera that they added a while ago. Now, consoles, when they added the camera to the consoles, the camera was absolutely no good because we couldn't do nothing with it. You could take pictures, but you couldn't save them pictures anywhere, uh, which is really annoying. So, now they have added pencil, pixel painting to the consoles, we can now turn the photos that we take into images on canvas. Which is really really cool so you're going to need to make the camera if you want to turn a picture into a painting but you don't have to have the camera you can just paint on the canvas you can just get your handy little paintbrush out go kabooey and you go over select it and now you can see that little cursor that's going around and around it's really really slow but you can paint So you can even select the brushes. It's got loads of different options. You've got pan, rotate, zoom. Then down there you got move cursor. Uh, click for thicker brush. As you can see I am changing it. Thin brush, thick brush. Whatever, whatever. Then LT to paint. Then LB to erase. So I'm just going to add this on. Do do. Spiral. Just like that. And as you can see it is drawing it in the background. You can see it ever so slightly. But it, that's how it works. I'm not going to keep this one like this. Don't worry. I'm just going to... Yeah, the problem is with the eraser, it, you, it, it doesn't erase all of it. You have to go along the line that you've already made or whatever mistake you've made. And you've got to rub it out. Because when it means by thick brush, it's not that thick. I'm going to try a thin one. Oh, no. Oh, okay. They've got the options mixed up. Okay, whatever. But there, this is a thick brush. 
and it is a race in it but it's ever so slow because of the I don't know the la the lack of speed the brush is in your hands. It doesn't go very fast, which is probably a good thing if you're trying to do a really good painting. You don't want a brush to go too fast. You don't want to keep making so many mistakes because your brush is going too fast. And we can erase all this. It's basically just like a rubber. But if you're just doing that, you can draw whatever you want. Really, really cool. But we're going to get onto the better stuff what the things i think you see something strange and mysterious while you're out in arc and you've got your handy little camera with you and you're like oh i want to take a picture of that because i've never seen that before and it's so mysterious and amazing you can get your camera out and you can just take a picture of whatever you want whatever you see it could be anything it could be freaking bronto knievel over here that's just likes to walk along mountains because he's a freaking rock climber <laughs> it could be anything i've already taken some pictures but once you've taken a picture it will say it has saved which is really really cool so you're gonna need then a handy little paintbrush and don't forget you also need the canvases to uh, obviously paint on uh far as i know we've only got these small ones we haven't got a large canvas which is unfortunate i really like a big large one so we can make a a really big picture so if you have a like nice fireplace you can pull it over your fireplace look really cool but anyway we've only got on the consoles we've only got the small canvases so what you want to do hit it with your paintbrush obviously it gets up all the options and then you got up, up on here where it's highlighted where i'm going across now you've got different options so this one is load paints from this type you've got save painting you've got delete uh, erase the painting and you got reset camera to home position. I don't have a clue what that means, but I'm guessing it means when you have this on. Does it reset it? Uh, I'm not too sure. But anyway, if you go up, if you go on this one and go load paints from this type, it'll come up with the images that you have taken with your camera. So I've got an image here of the ATV. I've got the image here of the the Tech Rex that I've got. We've got another ATV, we've got the hall that I've already painted, and then I went up to the volcanoes in the pitch black to try and get some nice photos of the volcano at night. Unfortunately, it was raining, so the, I don't think these pictures turned out really, really well. But I'm going to try this one here. It does say all the paints you need, and if you're missing any paints, it will list it for you. The only problem is with, uh, where is it, the Tech Rex I had, it always says I'm missing purple coloring but if you see in the needed resources i have got two percent of purple coloring and now i i don't know how much purple coloring this is taking but i'm pretty sure i've got a lot of purple coloring i've got 58 so surely it shouldn't need then i've got a hundred i got 158 purple coloring so surely it shouldn't need that much to do it but anyway we're gonna do one we can do so my option was this one we're gonna go with this and we're gonna paint it so so you select which photo you want then you go up here then it says load paints you have got rename and you can just delete the paint but you want to click on load paints and it's going to load all the paints and you can see on the canvas behind us that it will gradually build the image that we are supposed to be painting and it will be using the paints as you can see with the new ui thing the paints that be removed will come up on the left hand side so black color and it has just gone now if this is like a really colorful painting this could take uh longer than usual but as we're only on small canvases it doesn't take too long uh, a minute or two i've never come across a painting that's that's a lot of color that's going to take more than like five minutes to do but as you can see in the background we got the volcano now and it's done it is done so that's what it's going to look like on canvas so we can back out now and there it is there is our painting now i'm going to get rid of the hood because i don't want that crappy green name so this is it this is one of the lava pools on top of the volcano as you can see just there the little diamond shape pixel light thing that is the red obelisk behind it as you can see it was raining it hasn't turned out too bad because it is pretty dark 
Um, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. I really like these additions because you can take photos of absolutely anything you want. It's really, really nice. I don't think I've got anything colourful around here that I can. The Rex, but I keep saying I'm missing purple colouring. I don't know why. We need to find something that's super, super colourful. Well, not super colourful. Actually, let's take... I'm going to try and go to the snow biome. Because it's really white, so it's got to be really light. So I'm hoping that the colours might turn out... It's, I think it's kind of going to be whitewashed a bit. But, and it's going to need a lot of white. I've just, you know, I don't know if I've got a lot of white. Let's just go up here quickly. Take a photo of something. Actually, there's a cave somewhere up here. Oh, I don't want to take the cave. Nah, that'll take too long to go into the cave. Let's just get a really nice shot. Where can we land to get a really nice shot of this? Let's land. No, I didn't want to land there. I want to go up here, land, and we'll hop off. We've got a handy little camera. Now, I'm not very good of taking pictures. I'm not very good on, like, perspective or anything, so don't disgrace me in the comments. I'm going to do that. We could also take a nice picture of the waterfall over there. As you can see this... Whoa, I'm through the world. Okay, I'm through the world. <laughs> We're just going to take a nice... Ooh, am I falling? I can't tell if I'm falling off. <laughs> I'm going to take a nice picture of this. As you can see, the camera does slightly zoom out a tiny bit from where you actually are. I don't know if you can see that. But we're going to try and get this in. We're going to capture it, just like that. And you didn't see it saving because I did have my hood off. So let's take another picture of something really cool. Um, I don't think we've got anything really cool that we can take a picture of. Let's ride. I um, just want a really quick, cool picture that we can do. Figure, let's do this. Let's land here, get off, and let's take a picture of this green obelisk like this. So we can try and get it all in the camera like this. Let's do this. We'll take a picture, and as you can see, photograph, camera, blah, 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 blah. With all the dates and the time that you took it. And that's what it is. That's all it comes up with when you have successfully taking a picture. Now, I've only got one canvas, so I don't know which one I'm going to choose. I think I'm going to choose the one of the snow. Just to see if it comes out a bit brighter. Because most of the pictures, when you paint them on canvas, they seem to turn out really, really dark. And I don't know why. So I'm going to try the white one that we just took. And... Once we get there... Taking forever. Just land, just land. I'm hoping I've got enough like white paint that I can do this because I think it should take a lot. And my base is so big it doesn't like to load in. Oh, yeah, look at that for a texture. Anyway, I should have a spare canvas right there. We can put it on. Whoa, where are we going? We can put it on the wall. Let's place it. We'll get a handy little paintbrush out if it'll select it. I'm going to turn the hood off again. Boom. Select the paints from this type. So we've got the pictures that we have just taken. So we've got that one. See, it looks... The colours look crappy. And I don't know why the colours turn really crappy. Ah, look at that. That, that looks really, really bad bad but I'm gonna do it look how much 168 percent of white coloring holy Jesus we're gonna do it I'm just gonna paint it and hopefully it turns out a bit better than it does on that crappy little snapshot <laughs> in the middle of the screen there so it's do you need as you can see it does paint in the background as well there's a lot of blue there a lot of white. I just hope it turns out better than the other ones. Because the other ones seem really dark. And I don't know why that is. So we just got to wait. And we're still waiting. But yeah, you can have a lot of fun with this, I think. And if they add... If they also add something else. Because on PC, you can actually have different... You can upload pictures from what you've got on your PC. And you can paint them. Look at that. That didn't turn out too bad, to be fair. That looks pretty nice. I like that. Really, really nice. 
Really cool. Really nice. It's still dark. I don't know why that is. But it's still... T I think it's turned out really nice anyway. But yeah. On the PC, you can load up like photos or pictures that you've got on the PC. And you can paint them in arc. Now, unfortunately, on Xbox or PS4, I don't think that is going to be a thing that they can do. It would be good if they could implement it. A system where you just... If you had... A, a memory stick, a USB memory stick, you could plug it into your Xbox or your PS4 and you could select photos off that thumb drive because which then you could paint in arc. Because another big thing is we're gonna come over to my Tyrannodon because I'm gonna show you the pixel painting on the birds. Now on, well not the birds on the dinos. So we select it and then we get this little image. You can scroll up and down like you said pan then if you hold the right trigger in you can rotate it and then if you have RB in, you can zoom in and out with the thumbsticks as well. As you can see, I have done the little painting of blue there. It's really, really horrible. I don't know why I did it. I think I just did it to test it out. And I don't know if I've got any more white dye. Is this count as white? I don't know. But we can select it and then we get this little cursor again. That will let us paint stuff. So I'm going to... Really? I wanted to... S ah, okay. So we need to zoom in again. Let's pan it around here. Let's... Let's rotate. Let's zoom in. Bum, bum, bum. No, select. Then we can move it where we want it. Then we can select a thick brush. We're on white. And then we can just paint it with the left trigger again. As you can see, it does it in a kind of a line. Which is really weird, but we're painting it white, just to try and match the wing a bit, because I did mess up. <laughs> so let's just colour this white. And that is like the pixel painting on the dyno, if you're just doing it by hand. Now on the, PS, uh, on the PC it is different, because you've got, still got the same options as you do on the canvas, and it does say load up paints from this type. But the pictures you take with the camera do not count. And you can't get pictures any other way. So um, unless they do implement the stuff that they have on PC, painting your dinos is still going to be a pain in the arse. You can't have like massive pretty patterns unless you're going to stay there for hours just painting one dino. Because on PC you can just load up a, a picture or a pattern that you want and it will paint onto the dino automatically. <laughs> And I cannot be asked waiting around for like for hours just to paint one thing when I don't know. It's one of those. It's one of the things I think they should add, but I don't think it will be implemented, unfortunately. But it does give you an option to paint your dinos in any way you want to. So we could go over to this eye right here. And we could just give it a white stripe like that. So yeah. <laughs> just a white stripe on its eye which isn't which isn't too bad but yeah and it doesn't mirror so there's that is an also a problem that it doesn't mirror whatsoever you think i've done it on one side the white stripe and it doesn't mirror on the other side kind of annoying but i'm hoping now if i go to delete or erase it might erase everything that i've done See, it's a waste of white stripe, but it hasn't... Oh, yeah, it's erased even the crappy blue I put on it. Really cool. But that is pixel painting. That is everything pixel painting, like, related. Paint your dinos. And you can paint pretty pictures on canvases. And so you can decorate your house, your building, your base, whatever. Really, really nice. I really like... I like the addition. I just think we... If you stand far back, they don't look t too bad. You're getting really close. You can see all the pixels and everything. I reckon we should have a, lar a larger canvas. That would be really, really cool. But that is it for pixel painting on the console. So, mortals, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to show that like button, who is the boss, by punching it in the face. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And, as always, mortals, don't forget to share it with your family and your friends. And around the world. But that is it. I am Mortal T and I am out.